live. Okay, so here we have a failed, right here, failed inverter board. And I'm just gonna walk you through some checks you should make before you go ahead and replace these things. So this one is, in my opinion, very over-engineered because this board only controls the condenser fan motor. But we can tell this board is bad just because there's no LEDs on on it and we see some charring on it. So pretty obviously failed. But um, in order to make sure that um, what can happen on an inverter board is oftentimes a component a, like this wire harness right here you want to come and zoom in on this this goes to the our condenser fan motor what can happen a lot is this condenser fan motor will actually take out this board so it's not like like what you'll do is you'll replace the board and then it'll just fry instantly again so before you replace any inverter board what you're going to want to do is just check every other component that's downstream or even upstream of it so if you have a an inverter system right here. It sucks the boards out of the angle. Huh? It sucks the boards out of the angle. Yeah, I know. So it's too close to the house. So i actually tell you why I think this board failed. But you should have equal resistance between all three windings. So we got eh, about 30 there. Just over 30 there. Just, yeah. I checked this last time when I was here. Then we can check all these to ground too, make sure we don't have any continuity to ground. Nothing. Nothing. I already checked all this stuff, but I'm just doing it for the camera right now. Oh, that's my finger. Nothing. So then we can check our compressor too. It's not grounded. Yeah, it's going up. We're, we're okay. That's actually just because it's live, I think. Yeah, that's just sensing voltage. But we can ohm out our compressor. We actually did check our compressor. So the, the symptom that the, that the customer had, he said the breaker was tripped. We know that the compressor is not tripping the breaker because we can just... Breaker's not tripping. So everything is working on this thing except for our board. So um we yeah you kind of want to just check everything um and then once you've checked everything if the the board is indeed just failed like you're gonna want to replace it and so i will tell you why i think this one failed when you have these inverter boards you see all this insulation on here they sealed up they seal up these little service cabinets really well so this is supposed to sit on here like this and then um you, it's supposed to keep all the, the bugs out, all the moisture out. Every, everything is not supposed to get in there. In this case, they installed this thing too close to the wall. When I came out here, it was just dangling on like this. So uh, we've got all these bugs up in here. Definitely have had moisture getting in here. All, I mean, anything could have gotten in here and anything could have shorted out this board. So there was uh, two spiders living in here when I came out here last time that I shoot away. So I, I don't know if that could have caused it, but usually when you see boards fail on these outdoor units, it, like I, it's very, very common that it's just this cabinet not being screwed on, this panel not being screwed on all the way. So I, I, yeah, co common cause of failure. So we'll go ahead and replace this board. I would say, I mean, there's always a chance when you replace a board like this that it fries again. If you kind of do all your checks beforehand, it get, greatly reduces it, but um, yeah, we'll have a video. We're, we're gonna take this board out so we get our warranty credit on it. And then um, we'll be back to uh, hopefully tomorrow and I'll take an update video when we do that. Some over-engineered bullshit that you get nowadays if you're getting a, this is a minimum efficiency system and it has an inverter board on it. So um, there's not really the, the options for uncomplex HVAC systems are reducing. They're definitely diminishing. <laughs> every year, sure. so yeah, uh, cool, sweet. Near one. We have an LED on now. That's a good sign. Two LEDs on. There's a low but not impossible chance that, that this board pops as soon as it tries to start. <laughs> 
So, <laughs> but we did check everything that could have caused that. Yeah. And I mean, I even checked last time I was here when you weren't here. You, know, you can watch compressor starts. No board fried. So um, the only thing that could fry it is the fan motor. So, and we ohmed out and the fan motor and tested it to ground. So it shouldn't do it, but, yeah. but it could. Yeah. So. No fried board. Bam, look at that. There you go. All right, there are our pressures. Looks okay. Not really too worried about it. There it is. Some tricks I wasn't taught here. <laughs> I feel like I'm being set up for this. This is tricky, dude. This is this is what doing a track for too long will get you to be able to do quickly. <laughs> Bam. I definitely taught him how to do the, the last <laughs> ones. 